Welcome to the new video, YouTube. Today, we are going to talk about why confidence and unleashing your confidence is the number one way to unlock and unchain that inner alpha male that you have in you. And I know that these terms get thrown around on the internet a lot, especially in today's modern world. And there's a lot of debate about what they mean. And are they toxic terms and all this different stuff. So we're gonna get into all that right now. But before we do, make sure you stay the whole way to the end because this video is super important in context of building yourself as a man. I think confidence is literally the most important aspect of doing that. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and let's dive right into it without further delay. When it comes to confidence, what are we really referring to when we're talking about that? Well, in my opinion, and I talk about this a lot in a lot of my videos here, is that confidence is a keen understanding of who you are, what you're about and where you're going in life, right? And I think those are really important aspects. And you could break down each one of those for yourself and really understand what it is you're doing. And I think a lot of us men are extremely confused about all of those things I just said. We're very confused about who we are. We're very confused about what's important to us, about where we're going in life. And because of that, we tend to project a certain level of, you know, not being confident. We're not very confident in our interactions throughout our day. We're not very sure of our words when we say them. We're not very, there's not a lot of conviction in the way we speak and how we interact with people. I used to live like this. I was very, very unconfident for a very long time. And, you know, building my confidence really started with both being a musician and getting on stage and performing in front of people as a vocalist in a metal band, which I still am in. And also, you know, building my physique and building out my proficiency and my competency as a business owner and somebody that's trying to market myself and help other people just like you. So it's a collection of things. It's not just about looking good or having a lot of money or driving a nice car. I'm looking at my car as I'm saying this right now. It's not about those things or sleeping with 25 beautiful women or whatever. It's, it's not about that. It's about knowing yourself, being aware of yourself, what's important to you, and where you're going in life. Those are the most important aspects of confidence. And I think a lot of us as men, we have role models we can look to for confidence, but oftentimes we're looking at people that are very arrogant. Arrogant meaning that there's a false sense of, of projection of that feeling as if you are important and you're above other people. And that's not what confidence is. Confidence, as I said, is just knowing yourself, believing in yourself, and knowing that you have the capacity to get things done, right? That's the easiest way to explain it. When you know yourself, you know where you fit into the world, you know the kind of people you belong with, you know the kind of jobs or career you should be involved with, you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So things that come into your life that don't work, you can confidently say, no, thank you, too. And this has happened to me a lot recently as it pertains to a variety of things in my professional life and my personal life. I've said no recently to a lot of different females that on the outside looking in might be you know, perceived as being a good thing. They're very attractive, but I also know in a lot of these cases, there's a lot of instability with them. And when you have true confidence in yourself, that is when you're able to unleash yourself to level up in life because you'll notice that when you become a very confident man, things in life start to flow to you more. So whether it's opportunities in your business and career life, or maybe you're a younger guy and you're still in the education world, maybe you're in a trade or you are in college or something like that, you'll notice that there are more opportunities that, that just gravitate towards the men that are in those groups that are more confident, right? Because confidence is literally like a magnet. It is that powerful that people whether it be men, other men or females want to be around people that are confident. Because when you're confident, you project a lot of good, positive, strong, alpha male energy into the world. And there's ways of being alpha male that are very toxic, but there's also ways of being an alpha male that are not toxic and healthy. We want to always be focusing on healthy masculinity. That's what we really should aim for as a man. And you know, this video is not about masculinity in of itself, but Confidence absolutely is a major, major component of when it comes to masculinity. The problem that I find with a lot of guys is that they are just not happy with so much in their life. You know, whether it's how they look, the kind of access to the women that they have or lack thereof access to women or quality women or attractive women, 
or you know, they just feel like they're living so far beneath their means in terms of how they make money and income and stuff. And so what this does is it's this whole reality creates this self image that's not healthy. The, the individual is very down on themselves and a lot of men find themselves this way. What ends up happening is that both with being confident and unconfident, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Meaning that when you are confident, you are more likely to become more confident because you will put yourself out there more, you will do things that are a little bit more risky, or you'll take those extra risks in life that other men aren't willing to take. And because of that, you will get better reward and payoff in the long run versus the other guy on the other side who is unconfident, he continually will not pursue the women he wants. He will not go after the job that he wants. He won't quit his job and start a business or you know, start a business while working his job, whatever it is. And because of that, it's just this continually spiraling life that doesn't have a lot of fulfillment and meaning. And that level of not being confident continues to perpetuate itself because of the fact that there's nothing building this individual up. The reason I am so big, and I talk about this all the time, a lot of my channel is dedicated towards fitness and bodybuilding because that's what I do, and that's what I coach people to do for a living. It's not just about building bigger arms and a chest and having shredded abs and all this different stuff, it's not about that. What it is about is building yourself into being your best version of yourself. The gym teaches you a lot about your own mental toughness, your own mental strength. I've never met a guy in my entire life who got in better shape and wasn't more confident as a result. That is why for literally every single man that I meet that's in a position of being unconfident, I tell them, start hitting the gym, start eating better. Because those little things that you're doing, not only are gonna give you an endorphin rush and they're gonna make you feel better about yourself, they're gonna literally actually change your body and how you feel, and when you do that, you will be more confident. Suddenly, you do have this level of empowerment that you're now able to take and bridge into other areas of your life, whether it's your career life, whether it's with women, whatever it may be, you're now able to see a better life for yourself because you are developing and building yourself. And now because of the result of that, you are more confident, right? It's the easiest place in my, in my opinion to start because all men, in my opinion, should build themselves physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, everything. That is what you want to do as a man. That's how you build and become confident is you actually have to take action. Confidence doesn't just get you know, breathed into somebody. You don't just have confidence breathed into you from the time you're born and then all of a sudden it's like, well, I just was blessed with the genes of being confident. No, that's not how it works. Being somebody that used to be highly unconfident, I would struggle immensely with my confidence in, in everything, whether it was with women, whether it was with you know, standing up for myself in, in friendships or, or confronting people where I was wrong or you know, working with a toxic client, whatever it was, I was always scared to put myself in a way of confrontation or something happening because I didn't know what was gonna to happen to me. Now, when you become truly confident, what this really allows you to do, and I've talked about this in a lot of different videos, is allows you to walk away from situations that are not good for you. Those can be relationships, they can be jobs, it could be a business partnership, it could be anything like that that is not serving you and there, therefore you're able to walk away from it and say, you know what? I know I believe in myself. I know the value that I provide to this world. And if it's not respected and it's not being reciprocated the way that I know it should be, whether that's financial compensation, whether that is in a relationship with a woman, whatever, I'm leaving. I'm going to find what I deserve because I know what my self-worth is. The problem is when you're not confident, you're not gonna do this, right? Because you, you subconsciously and consciously don't believe you're worth more than whatever's been put right in front of you. So this is why building your self-confidence as a man is crucial. And there's things you can do, like I said, whether it's building yourself in the gym, whether it's building yourself mentally, whether it's building yourself financially, you have to see your life improving. It's not that you're going from where you are here to now all of a sudden being up here. It's that you see you might be here now, but the actions you're taking are, are slowly building you up, slowly building you up. That's how it works. You're not gonna go from here to here overnight. You're gonna have to take small steps. They're gonna get you there and your habits compound. And again, another thing I talk about a lot. Overall, I mean, the fact of the matter is, guys, if you want to have a great life as a man, you have to build your confidence. And this could be true whether you're a young man, you're just getting started in your life, in your journey, or you're you know, on the later half of your life. 
Life is very, very hard for unconfident men. I see this all the time. The guys I know that struggle the most, whether they be people I work with in my business or you know, just family members and friends that I have in my life, the guys that are unconfident, life is so hard for them. It's very hard for them. It's hard to watch them go through life like that because your heart just breaks them. There's only one way to change that. You have to change that. You have to be the one that's gonna take the action to actually create the things in your life that are gonna build yourself. If you don't do that, nobody else will. Nobody else will. So I hope this video has helped you understand that you know, if you want to become the best version of yourself, you're gonna have to build that confidence. And it takes time, just the same way building your physique takes time, building your confidence takes time too. But I hope this video helped you, like I said, I hope that you guys take a lot away from this and you can go out in the world now, build that confidence, and once you start doing that, you will see that things flow to you. Things will just flow to you in life. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in that next one. Have a great day or night, depending on whenever you're watching this.